crisis and people want to tie things up, which is why people were like, he's not having a crisis or like, he's, he's, he's depressing. Like people want to label things and it's like, maybe I'm just alive. <laughs> 3005 is one of Childish Gambino's biggest songs. Probably the biggest song on Childish Gambino's album because the internet. Everybody has their own reasons for why they like this song and with a song this big, misconceptions are bound to happen. And the misconception for 3005 was that this was the traditional love song. What's it about? It's funny because I've been reading comments and everybody's like, it's a love song, obviously. Like, a love song. I'm just like, it's not a. For a casual listener, it might be tough to find out that this song, for the most part, isn't about love. But that's a result of the story being told throughout the album that this song comes from. With Because of the Internet, Childish Gambino wasn't trying to make a regular album, he was trying to build an experience. It's a. I don't want to make albums anymore anyway. You got to make worlds and lives. Like we have the technology to make things way realer and like I that's why I wrote a screenplay. That's why the 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 live show doesn't make sense without that. That's why I, there's so many things I want to make around it because I feel like trying to get people to just like invest in the album is kind of like trying to make people pay for just the smell of your bakery. One of the ways he achieved this is by telling the story of a character known as The Boy. The main thing about this character is mainly that he was a rich asshole. And although there's a screenplay that gives this character some more character development, uh, you can just listen to the album. In my opinion, it gives enough context for who this is. For example, in a track like The Worst Guys, you get to see the boy's arrogance, when I ball, I'm a ball, King James. his money, At a Clippers game on the court side. and his insecurities. You only come around when you want to play pool on my which is basically what this character is built on. And these traits could be found throughout the album, more specifically a track like The Party, and probably the best example of this is in Sweatpants. In this track, we start to see the boy get a little bit frustrated with how people only like him for his money. And it's worth mentioning that this is the track that leads us into the track we're talking about, 3005. So, if 3005 isn't about love, then what is the hook about? And I mean, I guess you can technically say it's about love, but it just isn't what this hook is about. I, that song is a really, it's cool. I see a lot of comments of people being like, it's about a girl or something like that. Nah, yeah, what like is a, it? It's a supplemental song. It's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's whatever you need to be. It's, it can be like God or money or like whatever. It's, it's just, a, it's kind of an existential rap song. I don't know if that existed before, mm -hmm. but it's just about, I don't know. I feel really lost. I don't know. But in reality, I think this is the main way that Childish Gambino chooses to highlight the theme of the song. I feel like song's not about anything. It's just about like, it's kind of an existential thing. Like, it's just like, kind of like, I don't really like, I just don't want to be, I'm really scared of being alone. Like, I'm really scared of like, what is this supposed to be? Because the type of love that is shown on this track doesn't come from a place of, I like being around you or I care about you or whatever it might be. It really comes from a place of I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be. I'm really scared of being alone. Like I'm really scared of like, what is this supposed to be? I don't know. Like when I was little, there was a big dog down the street, and I, I was really scared of it. But like when I was with my sister, when I knew I had to protect her, like I wasn't afraid of the dog as much because I was just like I was. Somebody was there. Like I had a purpose. I feel like my parents had that, or like, their parents had that. Like I know what they knew what they were supposed to be doing. But not only does the hook deal with loneliness, it deals with what does it mean to live forever. Like, what does it really mean to be with somebody till 3005? So. We can all dream, man. I want, I want that fairy tale. Of being together the... forever. Yeah. You think that? Do you think you can do that forever, ever? Like, yeah, you really can do I think that? so. Yeah, I'm very passionate, man. I, I'm very passionate too, but I mean, forever, ever. That's we get to see these two ideas get expanded on in the music video. As in the music video, you can take notes of all the couples around Gambino. But Gambino's partner just happens to be a teddy bear, which is also the way that the video approaches the concept of being alone. The use of the teddy bear kind of shows us two things. One being that Gambino's character has no one to ride along with, while also showing that Gambino's character is scared of being alone. And rather than being alone and facing his fear, even if it's just for a ride, he picks up a teddy bear. Or I could be overanalyzing it because the teddy bear does look cool. 
So who knows? Within the context of the song, I feel like the ride is important. I feel like this song is Gambino talking to someone about something that happened. In the first verse, we see an argument break out between Gambino and a girl. What the argument is about, we don't really know because we only see it from Gambino's perspective, but we can kind of assume based on what he says. My God, you pay for your friends. I'll take that as a compliment. He starts out talking about how dope the party was that he had the other day. I assume about a week before when everything was all good. But once we get to the now the throw is gone bar, I feel like we fast forwarded a week to when the argument starts. And Gambino's not taking it serious at first because he's making jokes and stuff. The argument goes on for a bit, at least until the person brings up the fact that Gambino basically pays for his friends. And although he at first dismisses it as a, uh, well yeah, I have a lot of money type deal. I got a house full of homies. As he looks back, he admits that it's something that he's insecure about. Why I feel so the opposite. And then the verse wraps up revealing the real intentions behind the hook. Sorry, I'm just scared of the future. This set of lines reveals a lot about Gambino's character in this song, being that there's a lot of reasons for why he might be scared of the future. And for the most part, most of them revolve around the idea of being alone. Cause when the checks clear, they're not here. Cause they don't care. If he's scared of the future because he doesn't know whether the money will be there, well, most of his friends are only his friends because of the money, so he'll be alone. Additionally, these bars show that Charles Gambino isn't sure about spending the rest of his time with this person. Myself with the same girl till 3005. <laughs> Not no well, chance. That's what the whole up part is about. Adding to the idea that he only wants to be with somebody just because he doesn't want to be alone. And you might be wondering why this song has this message. You know, it does seem kind of dark, but then again, that's what Childish Gambino was going through at the time. Uh, that that was like suicide. I mean, like suicidal. First of all, suicidal is kind of dumb to me. Like the idea is like, if I want to kill myself, I will. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. And maybe it wasn't a one to one, but he was definitely going through it at the time. Just like the boy says in 3005 that he's scared of the future. So the Gambino. Hate who I am. I'm afraid of the future. I mean, the media characterized these posts as either depression or as routine in our culture of overshare or after the album came out actually as part of your promotional campaign someone right, said that right. too what was the motivation for posting those thoughts what did you want to why did you want to share those thoughts i just wanted to be honest i really wasn't thinking i just i really wasn't this wasn't like a like a plan i was just like you know let me just be honest and if I wanted to get this song a happy ending i could look at it in a vacuum and say that he ends up overcoming his fear at the end and he leaves the bear behind and whatever whatever but what's most probable is that the bear at the end isn't representing childish gambino leaving it behind at least not because he overcame his fear it brings up something that a lot of people overlook when talking about love and relationships and it's that eventually someone's gotta die and in the words of andre 3000 if they say nothing lasts forever and what makes love the exception and that is the true meaning of 3005 by childish gambino it should mention that there's a screenplay that I haven't read, uh, so maybe that switches up how I think about this song. But I think it's pretty cool how I think about it. Uh, but anyways, shout out to Gambino and uh, shout out to Jay Dilla. Ooh, yeah.